igniting community, a safe space to learn, share, and grow. Don't forget to like and subscribe below. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another week of Recharge Yourself with Keisha. Today, we are practicing uh, conscious breathing uh, meditation, and, and we'll end it with a nice Ayurvedic tip for you to help you for the rest of your week. Today's intention for our time together is to help our minds find peace and balance, especially during these uncertain times of our world. There's a lot going on, we're experiencing overwhelm and a lot of anxiousness and with our class today, I just have the hope for you to find a nice quiet peace for a few minutes in your mind and whenever you start feeling overwhelmed or anxious or stressed out, I hope you can come back to this video and practice this meditation practice with me to find a little bit of grounding and peace. So to begin, as usual, we'll begin in a comfortable seat, whatever that comfortable seat looks like you for today. I like to practice on my mat with a block or a pillow underneath your seat just to elevate the hips a little bit, take a little tension off of this hip joint. You could have a couch pillow, you could sit on a chair in your bed, wherever you can find a little quiet and peace and the time that you spend in your meditation practice just will help you ground. So beginning in a comfortable seat, take your time, adjust yourself. As much as ease we find in our physical body, it's easy to let go and jump in or dive into your um, breath work, into your meditation. Take a few minutes. Once you have arrived in your seat, in your comfortable seat, I invite you to close your eyes and place both the hands upon heart. Palm on top of the palm, doesn't matter which palm. Take a deep breath in. Listen to your own heartbeat. Exhale. As you breathe, notice the rhythm of your heart. With every beat, every heartbeat that you notice may remind you of the beautiful energy of life that is prana and it flows within you. Let each breath take you deeper into exploration of your own self. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Take your time to find your own rhythm of consciously breathing. Take a deep breath in and let a long breath out. Find presence in this moment. Find comfort in knowing you're supported and find grounding with your own hands on your heart. Take another deep breath in and let a long breath out. Release your hands from your heart. Keep your eyes closed. Slowly placing your palms on top of your thighs or in your lap. We'll take the peace mudra, the chain mudra, the shanti mudra with our fingers. For uh, index finger and the thumb, 
touching, palm facing up, other three fingers pointing out. As you take your next breath in, focus the awareness to the third eye. The space in between both your eyebrows right in the center. Notice if you see any shape, any color, or just void emptiness, darkness or lightness. Every answer is correct. There is no right or wrong. Just observe the shapes or aura or color in this space. Take a deep breath in. Let that breath travel all the way down. Your nose, the throat, your chest, your lungs, all the way to the belly. As you exhale out that breath, release any tension from the body. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. Release the tension around the eyes, around your jaw, around your collarbone, around your hips. And just let that tension melt away. Stay present in this moment and notice the breath going in and the breath traveling out. Consciously breathing throughout this whole practice. Notice the coolness of the air coming in and the warmth of the air that is moving out. Notice any tingling, any sensations on your toes and fingers. The warmth or coolness on your skin. Be the watcher of this experience itself. Rather than trying to attach or make any judgment about your own practice. Find the peace and silence and enjoy these few moments of disconnection to shift your perspective about your surroundings. This is the time when the mind wants to cling to something, special thought, specific memory, daydream, fear of the future. Use your breath to anchor and realign yourself if you start drifting away from the present moment. Use the breath as a tool to come back to yourself. Take a deep breath in and let a long breath out. Take a deep breath in and let a long breath out. It's okay to realize that you may be feeling uncertainty, stress or anxiousness. But remember, it is simply a reaction to the circumstances around you. We have no control on the future. But we definitely can control the way we react. What is out of your hands deserves to be out of your mind. Release any negative thoughts, any attachment, any worry that you are carrying with you. As you draw in the next breath, visualize a radiant white light around you. It could be crystal white or any color that comes to you. As you inhale, see the light of love entering your body. Right from the top of your crown 
making its way down with every breath you take. It moves from the crown all the way down, healing and grounding you as it touches every fiber and nerve along its way. With exhalation, see this dark gray murky light leaving your body. Inhale, bright, positive light enters in. Exhale, dark gray, negative light leaves the body. Take a few breaths with your own time like this, imagining this positive light filling you and pushing the dark, negative light out of you. Slowly let yourself immerse into this energy cleanse as you consciously breathe in and out. Don't let ego doubt yourself. You are in control of your peace, your well-being. I invite you to add this mantra in your breathing. As I surrender to the uncertainty, I'm guided, I'm safe, and I am in control. As I surrender to the uncertainty, I'm guided, I am safe, and I am in control. As I surrender to the uncertainty, I am guided, I am safe, and I am in control. Take your time, repeat the mantra, but let the visualization of that light cleansing carry you for a few more breaths. Bring awareness to your breath, feeling energy shift from within the body. Feel the sensations rising in the body. My dear friends, we are nearing the end of our meditation practice for today. So I invite you to just feel the different sensations arising in your body. Let's take a moment to send gratitude for everything regardless of how uncertain, how scary or how anxious you might be feeling. Take a long breath in and a long breath out. You're welcome to release your mudra with the fingers, slowly taking your time. Flutter your eyes open. Take a few breaths to just bring your breath to the normal rhythm to find your space in time right now. My Ayurvedic tip to leave you with today is as we are into the new year, a lot of us want to take on a new diet make the resolution to go on a detox, to try new things to lose weight, to try different things to shed the holiday pounds. But we often find ourselves, and I have been in this position as many of you, 
that our resolution barely sometimes sticks with us through a few weeks in the new year. And there is a logical explanation behind all of this. So according to Ayurveda, winter is supposed to be the season of nourishment, of finding grounding, of internalizing, rather than trying to detox. This is not the season for detox. Spring is the This is not the season for detox. We can prepare our mind and find our detox during the spring when the nature is into revival as we sync ourselves with the nature cycle. But during winter, we have to find strengthening and nourishment, try to nourish our body from the inside out, Especially in the northern hemisphere where we are in the middle of winter, our body craves to internalize and reflect and find rejuvenation rather than trying to take on any new diets, any radical changes. So I hope you can take this little tip with you through the new year and find grounding, find a nice new routine of taking care of yourself of nourishing and strengthening the body rather than trying to be toxic. Hope you enjoyed this practice with me and hope I was able to enlighten you with some new information that you can uh, bring into your everyday healing and well-being. Namaste.